chart lesson today by request again we are doing uh, Alice by Smith and Fell now this is a really good finger picking song to learn because although it uses uh, easy open chord shapes if we put our capo on the fourth fret th the uh, actual finger picking can be a little bit intricate and it moves into a kind of a much more raunchy strumming towards the second half of the song so we're gonna do this as accurately as possible but I would say throughout this that if you stray from the actual tab which is as accurate as I can possibly make it it's no big deal as long as it's sounding like the song and you're happy with it that's the main thing so download your chart from the link below and let's get started the riff you heard me do at the very start there we're gonna actually we'll go through the chords first the chords are C A minor we use a D minor and an F and we've got a G and then throughout the piece there's a couple of little places where your F chord walks down or up actually in two different places and I'll explain that as we get there and it's not too difficult so let's go starting now the, the riff starts without any kind of a bass note or anything so it just starts on the open G string so put your first finger on the first fret of the B string and pick the open G string with your thumb. Hammer that G string onto the second fret, like that. And then play this, the first fret B string straight after it. So it sounds like this. Now you'll see also in this, in this tab, I've tabbed this all out in triplets because it's got this swung feel to it. Now, I've done that to be as accurate as possible. Sometimes you can just write, you know, play this with a swing feel and, and write all those notes in quavers. But this is a more accurate way and it kind of gets across the feel of that triplet. So if you think of da 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 that triplet feel, that's where your notes are going to fall on this opening riff. 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, like that. And then as we get through into the other patterns, I'll, I'll explain that sort of rest in the middle because technically speaking, it's not actually a rest, but it's the first note held through that rest. I tried writing it out like that, but it made the tab look really messy and harder to understand. So when we get to those bits, I'll explain that as well. Start with this riff and get it so you can play it really nice and fluently and cleanly. You do that through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After the seventh beat, hammer quickly from the open D string onto the second fret. And this is done with your second finger and with, with your thumb. Come back to the open D string, land on the C, ignoring the capo for the moment, land on the third fret A string and start this picking pattern. thing about that little picking, picking pattern there is that your thumb is taking both the A string and the D string so it goes thumb finger thumb finger thumb finger thumb finger repeat that first line and it, the fourth bar in that line is actually squeezed up nice and small so I can fit everything on the one line but it's a repeat that symbol there means repeat the previous bar so we do that all again comes in and it's the same thing now at the at the very start of that verse I put kind of a partial a minor chord there you don't really hear it that much in the song but without it you kind of don't get the, the sense that you're in an a minor so it you can just go and, and start it like that if you want to start it and kick in a little bit of the bass note or parts of those chords 
that's what those extra couple of notes there at the start of that line mean. You went for the heartache, you went for the heartache coming to get you. And now, when we hit this C, there's a really kind of intricate little uh, variation to the picking, but it's worth the effort to get this right because it sounds really nice. You go thumb on the A string, open E string, then thumb, open G string, put your pinky on the third fret B string, then go thumb again, open G, lift your pinky off, first fret B. So it sounds like this. Then the next bar goes thumb, open G, first fret B string, then thumb, B string, thumb, B string, and another B string. So it actually sounds like this, or that, that two bar pattern on the C. And then back to the riff. So that is quite tricky. If you don't want to go through the hassle of learning that exactly note for note, you can just do that. But it alternates that. The first time we run through that, that section, it does that C chord, and this is the first and second endings that you'll see. The first ending is that C variation. Then the second part of the verse, it does that, the normal C. And it varies that throughout the song whenever they do a verse. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much your verses taken care of. There's a lot there, so take your time and, and you know, get that flowing smoothly. Once we get through that verse, which we repeat through two times, you're on to the bridge section, which is where we move to a D minor. Now the picking here goes. And that last note, again, you're using that same alternating thumb on the, on the D string and the, and the G string there to get that nice rhythm. That last note is a second fret D string because we're walking up to the F on the third fret. Now, when we hit this, there's another variation to this picking pattern and it goes like this. We go. the end of that, that last note is a bit longer than the others because you hold that and that gives you a chance to get to the next chord, which is your C, which we pick this way. It's almost exactly the same, but we're using A string followed by G string, D string, and E string this time. So we're going... That is the end of the first page and that's pretty much the end of the finger picking because as we move into the chorus although I still think there is some finger picking going on it's much harder to tell exactly the notes that they're playing and it's and all the production is ramping up so it's it needs to kind of build up a little bit in, in intensity but also when we hit that A minor the first A minor for the chorus and the A minors throughout the chorus you'll hear that riff so it's very difficult to play that riff as well as doing the finger picking and make it sound as, as strong as the chorus needs to be. So my suggestion would be to strum the A minor, try and put that riff inside your A minor chord. So if you strum the A minor to start with, with your finger off the G string and hammer it on and catch that B string on an up strum. you feel you need it add more of your strum into the chord again to kind of keep that chord nice and loud so it sounds kind of like this I guess Don't need to worry. and then it moves on that's what I would do with the A minor and that riff to try and get that sound right you're on the A minor you're doing that riff oh 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 Alice one two need to worry 
Now the strumming after you move out of that A minor needs to keep that same sort of thump, da, thump, da, thump, da, thump, that triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that two, as you hear, is, is kind of, it's not played. The first beat of the, each triplet kind of carries over into the two. Like I said before, if I write it out that way, it kind of looks a bit messy on the chart and I'm not writing out the, the strumming rhythm here anyway. So what you want to do after you move through that A minor, oh, 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 Alice, you don't need to worry. Just this kind of strumming, okay? Because one, and then where the, where the bars here in the chorus share two chords, they're split evenly, so two beats on each. One day you find home. Sometimes in that bar of E minor, you'll hear the, the E bass note kind of move up, start to move up through that F. You don't need to play that there, but if you hear something strange, that's what it is. Repeat that. Oh, 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 Alice. back to the start of the verse and we do it all again exactly the same way once we come through that chorus again for the next time we go through that ds because it only works once ds means del senor means sends you back to the senor which is that little s sign you'll see at the start of the verse so then we move on to the middle section which is another like interesting change we go a minor and you hold that through the next two beats of the next bar and we do this little thing this is an another part where, we, where the F chord is doing a little walk down. So we go F, we start with F, we move our note on the D string down to the second fret. That's the most important note in this bit, so make sure you get that note sounding right. If you want to do the rest of the chord, there's a little diagram there that shows you how to do it. It's kind of like an A minor seven without the A string, or if you like, it's an F slash E, which is maybe not entirely accurate yeah maybe it is no not really <laughs> anyway it doesn't really matter what you call this chord you can see what it is what matters is you get those two notes because we're going to land on the C so it sounds like this one two three four five six and you do two on the F one on the E I'm going to call that the E right and land on the C do it again hold that for six beats then do F, F, E, A minor for two beats, G for two beats, F for two beats, and it's on our own little bar there of two beats just to make this chart kind of neat. And then back to A minor for four beats. Carry it over for another two beats into the next bar. And we're down into another A minor for six beats. Down to the C. to F then C this time and you stop on the first beat of that last bar of the middle eight then we're into another chorus oh, 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 oh. There's a fair bit there, take your time through that. If you don't really want to follow the, the picking tab totally accurately, like I said, the chords are above the, the bars there to make it sort of easy if you want to ignore the tab. But it's a great song. Uh, thank you for requesting it. I forget your name, whoever did this request for the lesson, but um, thanks for requesting it because I've never heard of Smith and Fell before and I really like this song. Thank you for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and doing all the fantastic things that you guys do to support the channel. Really appreciate it, and we hope to see you here again soon for some more lessons. Bye for now.
Thank you.